Excuse me, sir. May I speak to you for a few moments about God? What? Oh, what the hell do you want? What? I'd like to know, sir, if you would mind, if I spoke to you for a few moments about God. Do you have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ? Can't you see that I'm washing my car over here? Can't you see that I'm standing here with a fucking sponge in my hand? A soapy sponge that I've been using to wash my car for a little over a half hour now? Why did you choose to come over here and ask me that when it's fairly obvious that I'm freaking busy doing something? Please go away. I'm terribly sorry to bother you, sir. I was just wondering if perhaps you had a personal relationship with Jesus Christ? Did you know that at any moment you could pass away and find yourself in front of his father's throne? Don't you want to be prepared in case something like that happens to you? Personal relationship with Jesus Christ you say? Why yes. Yes I do. I do happen to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. He doesn't come over every once and a while to eat supper with me if that's what you mean. But. Yes. I do have a personal relationship with him. Why do you ask? Then would you mind if I gave you this month's copy of our publication? The Watchtower? It's free. I can also give you a copy of our Bible. Aren't you even going to ask me what religion I belong to first? Aren't you curious? The thought never even entered into my mind. Would you like a copy of our monthly publication entitled The Watchtower and a copy of our Bible? Not really. Could you please go away now? But I thought that you said you had a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Could we please go into your home and sit down and have a discussion about God and about Jesus Christ? No. No we cannot. And since you don't know how to have a normal conversation, I'll have to let you know what religion I ascribe to. I happen to be a Roman Catholic and a Christian. Now. Will you please go away and bother the hell out of someone else? I'd still out of my car to wash, and I'd like to get done before the sun goes down. Before I go, could I just leave you with this month's issue of the Watchtower and a copy of our Bible? No. You may not. You can take your pamphlet and your version of the Holy Bible and shove them up your ass. I've had conversations with your kind of brainwashed robot before, and I've learned that your religion is no religion at all. Your religion is a bold-faced lie and a bastardization of the only true religion Catholicism and Christianity. Why would you say that sir? I'm just trying to have a conversation about God and about Jesus Christ. Why do you have to be so rude? Why? Why? Why, you ask? Because according to your twisted Bible, Jesus Christ wasn't crucified on a cross. According to you cult members, Jesus Christ was crucified on a vertical pole. Which is pure rubbish. He was crucified on a cross. End of story. Not only that. Your version of the Bible reads that Jesus Christ was not the Son of God, but only a man with godlike powers. Another falsehood. Your Bible is a lie and a fake. Therefore, your whole religion is a lie and a fake. Go take your lies and peddle them somewhere else. I'm not interested in listening to your lies. Does this mean that you don't want a copy of this month's publication of the Watchtower and a copy of our Bible? We'd love to see you join us at our building of worship next time we hold our services. Do you know what? Fuck off. Hello. Everyone. This is going to be a little skid about my personal experience with a Jehovah's Witness, and why I feel that the Jehovah's Witnesses are a cult of brain-dead idiots and arrogant assholes. Part 1 will feature my interaction with a fellow co-worker who is a Jehovah's Witness. Part 2 will feature myself interacting with my wife as I explain what happened at my job. I hope you enjoy it. Hello. My name is Joseph. What's your name? My name is Debbie. Have you been working here for very long? No. Actually. I've only been working here for about a week. How long have you worked here? I've been working here for three years. How do you like working here so far? Well, I've only been here for about a week, so it's really kind of hard to tell if I like it or not. It's really such a short time for me to form any kind of opinion. Do you like working here? Me. Oh. I like it, I guess. You don't sound very enthusiastic. Is there something wrong about working here? Something that I should know about? No. Not really. 
Well, actually, it's our supervisor. Jeff Nordstrom. He's an atheist and a real pain in my ass. He's always making fun of my belief in God. Oh my God. You too? I get that all the time. I believe in God also. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes. Yes, I do believe in Jesus Christ. What religion are you? Me? I'm a Roman Catholic. Oh. You are one of those. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by one of those? Oh, nothing. Just forget about it. Pretend like I didn't even say anything. Okay, so, what are your plans for this weekend? Are you going to do anything exciting perhaps? No. I'm just going to go to church and read my Bible. Sometimes my sister the bitch comes over and I have to listen to her bullshit. Sounds exciting. Do you read your Bible often? Yes. Yes I do. I read it almost every day. Sometimes I can almost feel God right there sitting beside me. Almost as if he's holding my hand while I read his book. Are you doing anything exciting this weekend? No. I'm just going to mow my lawn and do some other yard work that I've been putting off. I hate doing yard work and mowing my lawn. It's such a pain in my ass. You have a lawn? That must mean you own your own house. Do you own your own house? Yes. Yes, I do. I live in it with my wife and my daughter. Why? Oh. Nothing. I live in an apartment. Well, aren't you going to go home now? Your shift ended 10 minutes ago? Are you going to stand around here talking to me all night? Or what? Yeah. I guess I'll be going now. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Whatever. This is part two. This is my interaction with my wife as I tell her what happened to me at work in my exciting experience with the brain dead Jehovah's Witness bitch. Welcome home. Joe. How was work today? Well, it was fine I guess. Up until I met Nebi, the Jehovah's Witness. I think she's a giant idiot and an asshole. Oh honey. Why would you say that? You have just met the person. She can't be that bad, can she? Well, we were talking about our beliefs in God when suddenly she asked me what religion I belonged to. When I told her that I was a Roman Catholic. Do you know what she said to me then? Guess what she said. I don't know. What did she say when you told her that you were a Roman Catholic? She said. Oh, you're one of those. What did she mean by that? I have no idea. And then, when I told her that I was going to mow our lawn this weekend, she turned into the wicked bitch of the West. She practically threw me out of the building. I could see the anger building up inside of her because she found out that we own our own home. She's pissed off because she lives in an apartment. Do you see now why I think that Jehovah's Witnesses are cult members and fucking idiots? Yes, I do. Honey. Yes, I do. Oh my goodness. What a freaking headache that I've got going on in my head. And where the heck am I? The last thing I remember is a flash and a blinding wide and very hot light. Then I guess I passed out. But, how the heck did I get here? What is this place? I've never been here before. Did you bring me here? Hello. And good evening. This is the beginning of a new chapter in your life. Would you like a refreshment, before we get started? Whatever do you mean? What kind of refreshment? Now that I think about it, my throat is feeling a bit parched. Do you have any beer? A beer. We always get asked that question, whenever one of your kind comes here. Very ironic I'd say. No, I'm terribly sorry. No beer. No beer at all. Would you like some other kind of refreshment? Something cold perhaps? Yes, why yes I would love something cold to drink. Do you have any alcohol? Any kind of alcohol at all? And what do you mean by my kind anyway? What do you mean by that? Please, don't take it personally. I'm just referring to the kind of person you are. That's all. Let's just drop it, if you don't mind. By the way, we have no alcohol here. 
You can have some water if you wish. And before you ask me. We don't have any milk or orange juice or soda pop or any other drink except for water. Cold and hot water. Maybe I should have been a little bit more specific to begin with. Please forgive me. You know what? I'll pass on the water right now. I think I'd rather have you tell me where the freak I am. Have I been kidnapped or something? If I have, I have to inform you that you've kidnapped the wrong guy. I have very little money. Very little money. Very, very, very little money. I know that already. And I'm very sorry to hear that. Besides, you're not going to need any money here. Everything here is free. No charge. No charge at all. Just sit back and enjoy yourself. Today is the beginning of the rest of your life. What do you mean? What am I doing here? I don't remember coming here on my own. As far as I know, I'm not having a dream. So please, explain to me where I am and what the freak I'm doing here. I guess I've been putting it off long enough. You have every right to be anxious. I certainly can't blame you for that. I can't blame you one bit. What is it that you'd like to know again? Are you sure you wouldn't like some cold water before we begin? Yes. Yes, I'm positive that I don't want some water. Please, for the last time tell me where I am and what I'm doing here. Please. Well, I guess you wouldn't remember. Would you? Do you perhaps remember what religion you belonged to before you came here? Any idea? Any thoughts come to mind? Well, come to think of it. I remember that I used to worship Allah. I used to be a Muslim. I mean, I'm a Muslim. That's weird. Why would I say used to be? Of course I am. Yes, I'm definitely a Muslim. Why? Why do you ask? I just wanted to make sure. That's all. Now that we have that straightened out, I can tell you why you're here. You're here to visit with one of the Lords of Death. Once he arrives he is going to place a rope around your neck and drag you along. He will cut off your head, extract your heart, pull out your intestines, lick up your brain, drink your blood, eat your flesh, and gnaw your bones, but you will be incapable of dying. Although your body be hacked to pieces, it will revive again. The repeated hacking will cause intense pain and torture. Any questions? Are you trying to tell me that I'm a martyr? That I died in a suicide bombing? Is that what you are telling me? That this place, this place that appears to be an office environment is actually hell? What? What? What is that guy going to do to me again? He is going to place a rope around your neck and drag you along. He will cut off your head, extract your heart, pull out your intestines, lick up your brain, drink your blood, eat your flesh, and gnaw your bones, but you will be incapable of dying. Although your body be hacked to pieces, it will revive again. The repeated hacking will cause intense pain and torture. Does this mean I'm not going to get 72 virgins? <laughs> I'm afraid not. 